Welcome to another new video of interesting math problem on our channel Math Solutions for You. Please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Four six-sided fair dice are rolled. What is the probability that exactly two of them will have the same number? So let's consider the four dice and let's name them dice one, two, three, and four respectively. And we know that each dice can have, you know, six possible outcomes, a maximum of six possible outcomes, right? Because there are six numbers. Now, if we had to find out in how many ways can the numbers in the dice appear such that exactly two have the same number? And for simplicity's sake, let, let's just consider that the two dice that will end up with the same number are dice one and dice two. So with that assumption, let's try to answer. If that's the case, how many possible outcomes can dice one have? Well, to begin with, it can have, you know, any one of those six numbers. So six possible outcomes for dice one. Now for each of those six possible outcomes of dice one, how many possible outcomes can dice 2 have? Well, in this case, since our assumption is that the number on dice 2 will have to match the number, of di or the number on dice 1. So, for each of the six possible outcomes on dice 1, dice 2 can have only one possible outcome because it has to match whatever number appears on dice 1. So dice 2 can have only one possible outcome for each of those six possible outcomes of dice 1. What about dice 3? Well, dice 3 can have any outcome other than the number on dice 1 and dice 2. Because as per our criteria, we are saying exactly two dice would have the same number and we have further you know assumed for simplicity's sake the dice one and dice two are those two dice that have the, the two the same number so, so dice three can have any number except for whatever number appeared on dice one so it could have it can have five possible outcomes now what about dice four well Dice 4 can have any outcomes, any numbers other than those that appeared on dice 1 and dice 3. We know that dice 1 and dice 2, they have matching numbers. Dice 3 has a number that's different from dice 1, but it could be any one of those remaining five numbers other than the one that already appeared on dice 1. So that's why we have five possible outcomes for dice 3. And now dice 4 can have any number other than what has appeared on dice 1 and dice 3. So it could have a total of 4 different outcomes. And then if we multiply all of these together, we will basically get... The number of possible ways in which the numbers may appear on these foot dice so that dice 1 and 2 have the same number and exactly two of them have the same number. But these two dice need not be confined just to dice 1 and dice 2. It can be any two of these four dice. So, so the dice the two dice with matching numbers need not be just dice one and dice two. it can be any two 
And in how many ways can we select any two dice out of four dice? Well, that's four C2 ways, right? So the total number of ways in which the numbers can appear on these four dice so that any two dice can have matching numbers and those will be the exactly two but but that exactly two dice with matching numbers but they can be any two out of those four so that will be basically six multiplied by one multiplied by five multiplied by four multiplied by four c2 so that's the numerator of the probability for the denominator we have to consider all possible outcomes and that's very simple so for each dice there could be six possible outcomes right so the total number of outcomes in this case will be simply we multiply all of these sixes and we'll basically get six to the power four so six multiplied four times so that's the denominator so what's the probability? So the probability will be 4C2 multiplied by 6, multiplied by 1, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 4, divided by 6 multiplied 4 times, so 6 to the power 4 in the denominator. And then if we do the math, so 4C2 basically comes to factorial 4 divided by factorial 2 multiplied by factorial 2, so that's 6. So we have 6 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4, and then 6 multiplied 4 times in the, in, the, in the denominator. And the two 6s get cancelled out from the numerator and the denominator, and we're left with 5 multiplied by 4, which is 20 in the numerator, and 6 multiplied by 6, 36 in the denominator. And then if we reduce this fraction, this comes to 5 by nine so the probability that exactly two of them will have the same number is five by nine